Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm that 1320 chick. I know content's been a little slow on our channel and I kind of wanted to do just a recap refresher type video just to kind of keep you engaged and let you know what's going on with the car and what's going on with the channel. So you know the unfortunate events of what happened with the car. It is getting assembled right now and it is taking a little bit longer than we had expected. As I explained, it's been at my dad's shop. So of course his paying customers come first. I totally understand. It's it's not like we can drive the car. We have eight inches of snow outside. So just wanted to keep you posted. If you have been on the channel before, thank you. If you are new to the channel, watch this video and kind of see what we're about and like and subscribe, all those kind of things. So right now the car is in the process of being assembled. We're hoping that it will be back together probably two weeks into March is looking like it now because the motor has to get assembled and then the car has to be back assembled and then the whipple has to be back on it and then it's gotta be dynoed. Hopefully um, we'll be able to get some power numbers. I just wanted to update as well that we are having a drive shaft made for it because it's not going to be able to hold that kind of power. I wanted to sell my fuel system that we had already put in it because I wanted the car to be able to hold up to 13, 1400 horsepower without having any problems with it. So I figured I would just get all those kind of things set in motion now. So we didn't have to worry about it and the car had no limitations. No, I don't think it's gonna make it on the current setup, but I'd rather be set at that point. So when we do get to a time conversion for the Whipple, we will have no issues. Right, so we'll have to update the half shafts as well. So those things are gonna start really slowly come into motion and play and we're gonna have to start doing all those kinds of things as well. Update as well, we sold the seats that we were sitting in so now I just have my kitchen um, kitchen chair until we have a desk in our spare bedroom and can make it look like a nice office. We're gonna start working on the SN soon. Brian has a little bit more to finish on the donor car and then the SN will be able to um, get going finally. But our next couple videos are going to be of us working on McKen's S550. We are going to be doing a Cobra Jet install on that. So we are going to be, from what we see, one of the first videos on YouTube to do that. So if you are interested in an NA18 build and a Cobra Jet um, manifold, check in to see that. The next video we've been working on too, a girlfriend of mine also has a, a 16 S550. Nothing mechanical on her car, just a couple appearance things. We uh, changed the color of her calipers and we're putting a spoiler on it. So just a few things over the winter to keep us busy since... We don't have my car right now and we haven't started the SN yet. So I also wanted to know what works best for YouTube and what works best for the viewers. So what do you guys think? I want to know, do you prefer like a small, a few five to seven minute videos like of a series of few things? So like, like for example, the Cobra Jet install rather than being 15 minute video, would you rather see two seven minutes? videos and I'm asking because I want to know what's best for the channel and what keeps you the most engaged. Um, I ask questions periodically about the channel as well just to stay as updated and as current as possible for what viewers like on my Instagram. So if you want to keep going or keep updated as much as possible with the build and what's going on with both of our cars, check my Instagram out, that1320chick as well. Feel free to message on here or on there and I will keep you guys updated and post it as much as possible. Like again, I've always said, if you guys have questions, feel free. If you have constructive criticism as well, please just let us know. We are very open to it because we want the best, the best viewing experience. So whatever you guys are interested in, let us know and I'll see what I can do. Once my car is done, hopefully we'll be able to take it down south or anything like that to test and tune it before the track in Michigan's open because that'll probably be mid to late April. So just a quick like overview of what we want to do for the next couple months. I'm actually going to the Mustang Owners Museum in Concord, North Carolina in April with my mom. Her, her Mustang's actually going to be there for the grand opening. So stay tuned for that. And if you guys want anything else or want us to kind of start doing some other things, again, let us know. Let us know what you think. Hopefully gonna hit the track by April. Hopefully have some races by May. Our wedding is in June, so we're not gonna be able to do a ton, a ton of stuff then. Actually, I don't know what I'm saying. I'd rather go racing than have the wedding anyway. JK, no I'm not. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Let me know what you guys would like to see and we can um, kind of see what's going on from there and keep you posted and keep you updated on stuff. So again, sorry that the content's been kind of boring. The car exploding was not what we were expecting. 
but we'll do what we can. So like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, notification button, comment, whatever you guys got to do to make this YouTube thing work. So um, we'll talk to you soon. Hopefully I have some cool videos up and set them up the way you guys like. We're looking for your honesty, so we'll talk to you soon.